Karamaiga, uh, here, look. Uh, apologies, I had to speak in the doll and I've suddenly discovered I'm not as fit as I thought I was as I tried to run over and back. Okay, um, look, an awful lot has been dealt with or not dealt with. Uh, right, I suppose if we get down to the to the, to the contract, and look, there's, there's huge disappointment out there and the sense you get is the only place that you're getting more disappointment than in the public is among those people that are putting in hard hours and have put in hard hours, days and years in RTE and feel that they have been uh, lied to and treated utterly uh, disrespectfully. So, like, in, in fairness, I, I'm, I'm taking what you said there, Adrian, as it's, it's an apology across the board. It's a systemic failure. Right, because, look, uh, in relation to the contract, I, I am correct in thinking it was a commercial arrangement that was entered upon when negotiations weren't going well, when attempts were made to reduce the monies, because everyone else was operating on the basis they had to take a 15%. Correct. Yes. That's it. Right. Uh, eventually, we will get to an answer, but I don't think there's anyone out there in the wider world that doesn't believe the only reason for this was to conceal it in relation to um, the figures that are actually displayed to the public. Right. So that said, at this point in time, uh, and apologies if, if, if I have missed anything. Right, you, at this point in time, you're saying Ryan Tuberty's contract is, is what way exactly? So uh, Ryan Tuberty's television and radio contract ended on May the 31st. Yes. Um, so negotiations were ongoing. So for radio only, they have now been suspended. Yeah. Um, and, and look, there's obviously a fair bit of commentary in, in relation to it. Uh, there's a slight dispute in relation to this, and I'm just going to read this out rather than uh, me paraphrasing it. However, a source close to Mr. Tuberty told the Irish Independent he does not believe that his contract is terminated and plans to contest that assertion by the national broadcaster. We reject the suggestion that the contract is terminated. The precedent is when contracts change like this and when one element, be it TV or radio, goes that the contract is amended to reflect the change, but it is not terminated. We will be making that very clear to RD, we believe, or sorry, to RTE. Uh, we believe it's black and white, the source added. So I imagine this will go to lawyers and, and whatever else, Absolutely. but you're still saying categorically at this point that there is no contract. No, what I was saying was his radio and television contract went until the end of May, then it was radio only, and negotiations around that for the moment have been suspended, <coughs> but Ryan Tuberty is getting paid the radio portion of his contract. That's it. So, and it would be fair to say his contract isn't terminated at this point in time. No, he is still being paid by RT. No, 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 I, I, I get that. But the way it was said is to okay. a degree that, you know, obviously things were put in mothball, that the previous contract um, was terminated and then that a new contract was only being negotiated. Oh, yeah. to, but it's obviously maybe there, it's a certain element of just things haven't been made clear enough. But my understanding is yeah. he is still at this present time in contract. Yeah, that might be to do with the 20 to 25 uh, contract. There was an early termination letter, I believe, included as part of the contract. So while the contract was signed in July, it was actually dated April. <laughs> it was just part of that arrangement, right? I believe, yeah. But that doesn't refer to uh, Ryan Tuberty now, to be clear, yeah. Okay, okay, and, and, and look, I, I suppose the and the fact is, I, I don't need to add commentary in relation to the fact we'd be a lot better if certain players were here, particularly D Forbes. I don't think anyone's particularly happy in the sense um, of how a situation arose where she's not here, and, and I accept that she's uh, under no compunction, but you know she should do what's necessary and come before us here so we could at least have everything in the public domain. And it's a particularly, as I say, you, you, to use your own term, systemic failure, when a, whether it's one person, two people, or a very small amount of people can put something together, can create this sort of financial vehicle, and then literally conceal from everyone else. And the bit that I don't understand, because forget the rights and wrongs of it, like in this day and age, it's, it's the public broadcaster, it's RTE, there's always an element of, uh, there's an, always an element of oversight. Like this was always going to happen someday. 
You know, outside of how annoyed people are and everything, this is complete madness. Because we were always going to end up in this place. And really, like we, we all know the importance of, of, of RTE and the public broadcaster, uh, and public broadcasting in general. But you have a, there's a serious job that needs to be done by yourselves and others from a point of view of ensuring we maintain a public broadcaster that people have an adequate amount of support in and confidence in. And we are nowhere near there at the minute.